I live in June Luska. I love them mother black people. Yeah. They nice as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's a cutie. There's a little white girl and a little black boy. You see that woman up there guys her apron on. She probably cooked something delicious to eat. This line marked the separation of the white section and then the black section. Hey everybody, I am in Boone, North Carolina, home to Appalachian State University and namesake of Daniel Boone, the uh, Appalachian Explorer. And uh, I am here to go to a community Forgive me, I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's Junaluska. I don't know if that J is a H or a J, but it's a uh, old community, um, one of the oldest uh, free black communities in uh, in the United States. It was a uh, community of blacks that um, existed before the Civil War. So a lot of freed people decided to gather and uh, create a community. It's right here in this town, and uh, I'm going to check it out. So. Hopefully we'll see something interesting, but in the meantime, we're gonna check out downtown Boone. I came here because, you know, there's, all, there's so much history about this country that we don't know about and we don't hear about. And, um, and often that history is, um, you know, about marginalized communities and African-American history is one of those. And I wanted to share that with you and uh, discover it myself. And uh, Jun Luska sounds really interesting. There's a black Mennonite community, the largest black Mennonite community, I believe, in either the Appalachians or in America in general. And I'm gonna go check that out. And uh, well, at least check out one of their, check out one of their churches. So, hey, how are you? So I see that uh, this town, it's pretty small. So I said, it's worth me coming and giving you a peek because I was curious. And uh, you can kind of see, uh, there's a pretty busy touristy town. It's summertime, so school's out, but uh, there's still a lot of young folk here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Since I've been here in North Carolina, I had some of the friendliest people there, and that's sort of an example. Now, Daniel Boone, the dude who uh, was a, um, he was an explorer around this area. He, he did camp out here within the city limits. I think that's partly why they gave the town that name. And so we got to we get to see some of the hills and mountains that he saw. And um, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised about this place because uh, it's hot here in North Carolina in the summer, but here it's pretty breezy. It reminds me of um, Colorado, really, in a way. I mean, it's, it's a bit more humid, but it's dr a little bit drier here than it is any it's a little bit drier here anywhere than anywhere else and that i've experienced here so this is like i said this is up in the mountains now that i have seen most of boone let's go see uh junaluska and see what we can find hey everybody i am in junaluska so uh here's the uh, neighborhood park and uh, junaluska is way up in the hills so i mean i had that we were serving some uh inclines coming up here as you can see this is somewhat of a rural area and uh this was a place that was exclusively black at one time i think it's been integrated to some extent now but um i think the 1900s it integrated but uh people came here the free people came here and they said well, let's come here and start our own community and uh you know because at that time it was pretty racist the town grew around and uh, uh 
large plantation or a, there was a gentleman who had a lot of slaves and uh, I think the area was at the 20%, if I'm not mistaken, 20% black or free black. And um, this is the church they went to. This is uh, a Mennonite church, believe it or not. So you can see uh, some of the mountains, it's pretty far away. I can't zoom with a GoPro, but the town is that way. But this is the Boone Mennonite Brethren Church. And you don't see too many uh, Mennonite churches that are uh, predominantly black, but this is one of them. And I, if I'm not mistaken, this is the, the church that has the, the, the largest black Mennonite community, either, either one of them or is it. So let's walk up there and take a peek and see what we can, see if we can see anything. There's some inscriptions up here. So this one here says, Boom Mennonite Brethren Church, congregation established 1911, building construction 1918, centennial celebration 2018. So this has been here for a minute. And um, you know, I don't know what the community's like around here, but I was kind of hoping that maybe they had some kind of event and I run into somebody to talk to. I'm gonna take a hike through the park around here and hopefully run into somebody here, but uh, I just hope uh, nobody's offended by me exploring around the church. But it's pretty interesting, because when I think Mennonite, I think Amish, and I think not, not minority. That's what I think, I think European generally. And um, that may be the case in most places, but not here. It's too bad I haven't been able to see anybody because I'd love to be able to chat and ask them what they think and what, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about the history they're aware of. So I'm gonna walk through the park, Junaluska Park, neighbor, Junaluska Neighborhood Park, and uh, take a peek. So let's go. You know, I wanna try to stay over here, see what we can see. I see there's a little trail this way and there's a little trail to a playground. So I'm gonna just walk up to the playground real quick and see what's around there. There's some old, old bricks that were built here before. Let me head up here. Wish I'd worn my hiking shoes. This place has been here since the 19th, 18th century. So around the Revolutionary War. And you can see some of these what looks to be old, old rocks. So you can see there. So they really built this a minute ago. I think these are rocks. Let me see, they look weird. Yeah, little rocks. I'm running, I'm running in the spider webs and stuff around here. This would be a cool place to have a metal detector. If you think I should get a metal detector and explore some of these historic places I visit, let me know. Oh, there's a little sign up here. So I see a sign. It says, uh, Junaluska Neighborhood Park. And as I said, it's integrated. So they have a little white girl and there's a puppy here. There's a dog exploring. There's a little white girl and a little black boy. Neighborhood park, park rules. Closes the dark, no alcohol, no loud music, vehicles. Children under seven need to have parents. Please take care of it. I see some people here. Should I say, say hi to them? Is that your puppy? Yeah. I was wondering whose it was. You, you live around here? Not too far away. Not too far? You know much about uh, the Junaluska community? Junaluska, thank you. Junaluska. Junaluska, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was just, I have a YouTube channel and I'm filming and I was telling them, I don't know how to pronounce it. Now you let me know. Junaluska. Junaluska. You know much about the history here? He was a chief. He, he, he was a chief he, and he, he was with uh, Andrew Jackson, right? I'm not sure. Doing, yeah, and he saved his life and then regretted it. Regretted it later. Yeah. yeah. So Junaluska means 
one who could have but regretted it later or something like but didn't yeah it's weird so from what i understand the the, the community here junaluska was a, originally a free black uh community uh, i think so yeah because there was not really any slavery up here because it was so disconnected from everything else yeah i hear that's well, common and ancestors of slaves that lived up here now. this is a community of its own uh this is where the blacks came and uh were able to set up their own life and their own lifestyles and uh i live in june Luska. i love them motherfucking black people yeah so they nice as hell yeah <laughs> it, 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 he lives right i just there. live yeah. over the corner little, uh, i'm live, proud to live, live here oh yeah yeah now. i mean it's, it's, what's what's the community like I mean, everybody it's a pretty nice place everybody's huh? friendly yeah if they ain't well then they ain't nobody's everybody stays away from them, but they ain't they ain't nobody like that everybody's good here huh now that 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 mennonite church down there now that it's got a history, yeah. There's uh, people come from far and wide to hear that gospel band play. They are mm -hmm. pretty bad. I live right beside them. I get here on every Sunday morning. Come, Do you? Come through the wall. Yeah. Huh. Now, now, black folk go there? Oh, yeah. And yeah. I'm welcome, too. The only reason I don't go because the uh, Midnights don't allow dancing. They don't like dancing? They don't allow dancing. Uh-uh. Uh, you well, like I'd to dance. Go. You like to move. Hell, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get you. I get you. Now, if you don't mind, would you tell me about the, the cemetery? Yeah, um, half of it is, like, fenced in and you know headstones and all there's a bunch of old mason headstones up mm. there and stuff there's one with an upside down pentagram on the mothers and then uh you know a full mason symbol on the father it's pretty okay. interesting and lots of interesting. like square and compass stuff up there but the whole other half now is basically they it was unmarked mm -hmm. and it's on the far side of the cemetery and they have a big board up there now for all the um, black persons that were buried there, but they didn't. None of their graves were marked. They didn't mark the black. Right. Okay. Right. Interesting. So, but, it's that, it's, but it's preserved for them. Everybody gets along. No rate as far as racial harmony. Not up here. Not here. Not they here. Don't know. They'll call Uncle Scrappy. Mm. You know he's on call. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fuck nobody up. Uncle here. Scrappy. Who's Uncle Scrappy? You looking at him right now? Oh yeah. Brother. Oh okay. They call you up. All right. I love it, man. I, I love it. Now. I'm getting good vibes up here. Beautiful spot. Can I can I pet your puppy here? Yeah. Hey, puppy. There ain't no such How thing as like tonight. Hey. Yeah. It's a cutie. All righty. We got us a, a golf game going here. All righty. Well, y'all enjoy your golf. Work on that. Thanks, man. For sure. Take care. What's your name, bro? Uh, Kenny. 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 I'm Scrappy. All right, Scrappy. Big K. All righty. Lucas. Lucas. All right, brother. All right, just found some uh, really friendly individuals and uh, they kind of shared what they could. Not descendants of people from this town, J Junuska is how they pronounce it. So anybody from Junuska, you have a pretty cool town and forgive me for pronouncing it incorrectly. So they told me where this mural was and uh, I want to take a peek at it. They said that it's a pretty nice mural. So hopefully it's something uh, something interesting. So he said, when you get down to the T, I will see the mural and be on the left. I don't see one. And he said, it's, it's so new that the paint is probably still drying. I don't see anything historic enough to uh, make me think that it's been here. I don't see anything historic enough to make me think that it's been here since the uh, 1700s. All right, so we're here, we're at the T. He's telling me there's a mural over here somewhere. There's some pretty nice houses here. That was pretty nice. I did not wake up thinking that I'd be marching through the mountains of North Carolina. Yet here I am. 
It's a nice little porch. A lot of people come sit out in their porch. That's a cool color here. I like that green door. Is that a house? There's no windows on the side there. And yet, I have not seen a mural. Oh, there it is. I walked past it. You guys see it? There's the mural there. There's the mural. Let's go peek at that. Let's walk back up this hill and uh, get a closer look at this mural. There you are. There you are. So these are some from the old community here that have been here, that were here originally, probably descendants of uh, some of the Januska community. And uh, unfortunately, it's late in the day. It's about 6:30, and uh, I may not get to—I may not get to see anybody who's descended from those free free blacks from back in the day. So, um, but I'm glad to see this and get a little glimpse of what this place used to be. You can see everybody dressed up. Maybe they're from after church. You see the woman up there guys her apron on. She probably cooked something delicious to eat. And uh, they're just having a good time. We got to learn a little history about this community. We got to get a little glimpse of the mountains of North Carolina. And we get to think about what it was like at that time. Probably did their own thing here and uh, minded their business, had their own community, had church, had their own community um, functions and uh, really enjoyed living uh, freely while some of their distant relatives or kinfolk or fellow African Americans were enslaved what do you think that was like to be free at that time and to see other people and feel grateful that you weren't, to feel grateful that you weren't um, in change and in servitude? You know, you see other slaves and you're walking by them and you're like, well, you know, at least that's not me. How do you think that felt? Let me know in the comments what you think it might be like to be a free person and then uh, to see other people just like you enslaved. I really know, I'd like to know what you think because it's an interesting thought. You know, uh, do you feel any guilt for that? I, I think personally I would feel guilty, some sort of guilt, but that was a different time and uh, different era, different people. All right, so in my uh, journey to look for uh, history for Junaluska, uh, I ended up here at Boone Cemetery and uh, Boone Cemetery was a place where a lot of prominent Boone uh, uh, community members were buried, but also in the east section was a, a part, it's called, well, they used to be called Jordan Cemetery, and in Jordan Cemetery are where a lot of the free blacks and slaves were buried. As you can see, we have uh, quite a few people from different, there's 1930s farthing and more farthing, that looks like a big family here, and uh, quite a few. I'm square in the middle of Appalachian State University, and we're heading back to the east section. Um, Jordan, I don't remember his name, I'm not sure if uh, the name's worth remembering, but uh, Jordan Cemetery was named after a guy that owned the most slaves here, basically, and he's the one who donated this for a white and black section. Um, yeah, it was a different time, but uh, slavery was never right. This line marked the separation of uh it marked the separation of uh the white section and then the black section is bare and mind you before 2017 there was nothing it was just a just a hill here and uh, who knows, who knew who was buried here. As you can see down here, we have some stones. I don't know if those were just a marked spots here. So, you know, I'm assuming that someone was buried. I'm assuming that someone was buried and um, they said, hey, let's throw a stone down there and say this is a spot that somebody was buried so we don't build somebody on top of another one. And that's all the recognition they got. Hey, there's a body there. Don't build on top of that. 
And uh, that's that. So we got a bunch of rocks saying that uh, someone was there. Junuska Historical Society, I believe they're called. They came here and sort of uh, insisted that they put this marker up. And basically the marker is saying, we know these people are buried here. We just don't know where. And uh, they should still, their memory should still be memorialized and recognized. And here we are. So it says, this is the site of the Black Cemetery, which began as a burial ground for slaves of local landowner and storekeeper, Jordan Council. Since 1956, most members of the local black community have been buried at Clarissa Hill Cemetery, west of the town. Most black graves at this historic site went unmarked, but records indicate the following people were buried here. So you have all kinds of people here, born different times. Um, first person we have, her name was Fanny Horn. So uh, she lived quite a while. So that's, um, what was that, 40 years? I feel like actually she didn't live very long, 40 years. We got Annie Willcatcher Horton, born and died the same year. Dixon Horton, born and died in the same year. I wonder if they were twins, you never know. Lots of Hortons. Let's look and see if we can see the names of some of these families because there probably weren't, there probably weren't a many families here, you know, even in the long history of uh, Junaluska. But we got some Hortons, Hortons, Horton, 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 Horton. Then we got Grimes, 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 Horton, Horton. Quite a few Grimes, Grimes and Horton were a major family. Hagler. Then there's uh, the guys, the, guy, the slave owner, his name was uh, Jordan Council. So there's Jordan Council. Look at this, it's interesting. Clarency Council. And um, I, it, you know, I can't speculate on how, who Clarency Council was, but we know in, in the communities that uh, had slavery, that there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of rape, a lot of different things like that, or a lot of uh, sexual assault. Um, I'm not, you know, YouTube is really weird with the words I use, so I'm, I'm just trying to be careful. But, um, uh, you know, a lot of us, you know, my last name is Scottish. And, um, you know, do I look Scottish to you, like the typical Scottish person? So who knows where my name came from? But, you know, all these names were clearly not African in origin. You know, when our loved ones are buried, we want to recognize them and know that uh, there's a place for us to come back and my child, my grandchild to come back and remember and think about those people in their lives because their lives are worth recognizing whether they were slaves or not. So that's it for me here today in uh, Boone, North Carolina, in the neighborhood of Junaluska. Um, if you like the video, share it, uh, share it with your friends and family. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm into history. I'm into anything new. And history, although it's before, it's, if it's new to me, I'm down with it. And so if, you, uh, you're, if you're down with it, share it with everyone. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see so many other cool things I have planned for this year and um, like the video. I love you guys and um, I'll see you next time.